The college football playoff semifinals are set. New Year's Day, you see it there. Rose Bowl, Michigan, Alabama. Then Washington and Texas at the Sugar Bowl. Winners will meet for the national championship in Houston. Undefeated Florida State left out. Seminoles head coach Mike Norvell mincing no words. I am disgusted and infuriated with the committee's decision today to have what was earned on the field taken away because a small group of people decided they knew better than the results of the games. What is the point of playing games? A team that overcame tremendous adversity and found a way to win doing whatever it took on the field was cheated today. It's a sad day for college football. So I am going to get everyone's perspective on this this morning. We do have Heather Dinich with us from Grapevine, Texas. She'll join us in a moment. We're having a little trouble with her uh, satellite. Danny is here. The whole crew wants to get in. And of course, you see Paul Feinbaum. I am told we have Heather, so let me get Heather first, because I think the most important information is the information she has. Heather, for those who did not spend all of yesterday listening to all of the reaction, how did the committee explain the decision to leave out an undefeated conference champion in Florida State? Greeny, their answer was repeated and fairly simple. It was that they did not think that Florida State was the same team without injured starting quarterback Jordan Travis. And at the end of the day, they didn't think that the Seminoles were capable of looking like a top four team and competing for a national title without him. There were coaches in the room, strong voices in the room, and they voted multiple times. This was an agonizing, difficult decision for them. But at the end of the day, they thought that Florida State would have trouble competing and winning a national title without Jordan Travis. But it was also the fact that Alabama's strength of schedule was better and Alabama had knocked off the committee's number one team. So it was a combination of those two factors. But I promise you this was not an easy decision in that room. Paul Feinbaum, did they get it right? They did get it right, Greeny. And can we all just stop with the fake outrage from the Florida State AD and the president? I get the coach. I get the players. But the rest of the people just need to shut up already. This is college football. It is not a perfect system. We have controversy every year. It, it helps fuels in what makes the sport great. And for the coach to say it's a sad day in college football. I, see, I saw people celebrating all over the place. I think we have an amazing game. Michigan? In Alabama, uh, please, Michigan, Michigan was upset. They have to play Alabama. And, and let's not forget, and Heather alluded to it, Greeny, why is Alabama in this game? They beat Georgia. Remember Georgia? They were the number one team in the country all year. They were the uh, two-time defending champions going for a three-peat. That impressed the committee. And then the committee sat there and watched that travesty from the ACC championship game. Not a travesty from the standpoint that Florida State doesn't have an elite defense. They, they are. They're fantastic. But they had no offense, and they simply did not want to see another TCU disaster in one of the games coming up here at the end of the month. TC, of course, the team that won a game in the college football playoffs last year. I just want to confirm that everyone understands that. They got blown out in the championship game, but they beat Michigan to get there. Dan, did the committee get it right? Yes, the committee got it right. Okay, so a couple of things are important. The only way that this was going to be ideal is go, the committee came out yesterday and said, we're going to go to go to six teams this year and not four. That was the only way that they were going to make everybody happy, all right? Um, I think to understand Coach Norvell's emotions is a very real thing. This is not okay. It's not, this, this doesn't make it right in their eyes. But we have to stop saying that this Florida State team went undefeated, undefeated as a Power 5 conference champion. This team did not. The team two weeks ago with Jordan Travis did. This is a different football team. The two ways that I try to analogize this is, number one, three weeks ago, all of us who covered the NFL on a daily basis said the Cincinnati Bengals were the team to beat in the AFC. Mm -hmm. Once their starting quarterback went down, they were no longer the team to beat in the AFC because he's that important of a player. Jordan Tre if this was a tailback, if this was Benson or Johnny Wilson, different conversation. Their quarterback's a Heisman Trophy candidate. That's number one. Number two, these are um, – like, Alabama gets in not strictly because they won the SEC. They controlled that football game. There was never a doubt. They went down 7 nothing Immediately when they took the lead, it was like, when does Georgia make their run? What, Georgia wasn't even close to making a run. I don't want to say dominated, but controlled the football game. Mm -hmm. 
The game that ended up in a three-point. I'm just confirming. Controlled the yeah, game. Three-point game. Yeah. Controlled the game. Yeah. Controlled a three-point win. Yeah. The gotcha. committee is almost like an NFL general manager. You got to pick teams, kind of of what they've done in the past, but also what you believe they're going to do in the playoffs. That's how it is when it comes to paying NFL contracts. That's what they were tasked with. Picking the four best. Stop using earned. Stop using deserved. They don't use that conversation when it comes to picking their four teams. And what other sport do we do that, though, Dan? I'm just curious. I mean, so, so let me just let me, let me present a possibility here, Heather. Let, let, me, let me throw this possibility out there. When the NFL season ends, let all the teams play all 17 of their games. And then I'm going to put together a committee. Former coaches, Rex Ryan, Mike Shanahan, Bill Parcells, Marv Levy, 98 years old. God bless him, still out there. You guys know football? You know a lot about football. A little bit. So why don't you decide which 14 teams will wind up getting in? You decide which the 14 best are because you know football way better. What does it matter what happened well, maybe on the, the field? System's broken. Just put them all in. The system stinks sure. is the point. The system yeah. is dead wrong. <laughs> Florida State scheduled a powerhouse. They played them on a neutral field and beat them. They won every game in front of them. They won what we call a power five league and you 13 people sitting that. in a... No, I don't have to stop saying anything. They won all of their games. Anyone can get hurt at any time. They won every game that was... They did literally everything that could be asked Correct. of a team and 13 people making the subjective, not objective decision that they aren't as good anymore left them out of it. You know what happened yesterday? Football became figure skating. Figure skating is something that judges decide because there is no objective way to decide if you or you were the better figure skater. But there is an, an, an objective way to judge football teams based on what they did. Florida State's strength of record was three. Three at the end of the season. Their schedule is 55th. Their strength of record is three. They didn't lose a game. Let me ask you this. I love you. Yes. The NFC title game last year happened because of why? Because the quarterback got hurt. It happens. But, I mean, you used the the Bengals as an example. The Bengals then went on to lose two games. Yeah. Arguing that Florida State doesn't deserve to be in for No, I totally agree that they deserve. Well, you're arguing that they should be in But the committee does not believe. We don't have to defend the committee. We can. But, but Dom, when they lay out, when the committee lays out in words, this is how we are going to make a decision. Whether you agree with it or not, they're using that as the reasoning why they're making their decision. That's my next block, by the way. Don't throw that. Earn and deserve is That's my D's. Let me get Paul. In. Go ahead, Paul. Go. Uh, well, Greeny, I, I, I'm, I, I think I know why you're so upset. I mean, the Jets season is over. Rodgers isn't coming <laughs> back, but calm down. I mean, you, you went off on a tangent there that, that defied gravity. Uh, first of all, uh, some of those things are true. Not all of them are true. But which, one, which was the not bottom true? bottom line is, we, here's, what's, here's what's not factual. Well, it's partially, partially factual. factual. We, we're supposed to start the 12-team playoff this year. The one we have next right. year was supposed to start this year. And anyway, you have any idea who was against it? This all happened when Oklahoma and Texas came into the SEC. It was all mostly agreed upon. And then the commissioner of the Big Ten, your conference, the Pac-12, and the ACC. You, you familiar with the ACC? That's the yeah. league that Florida State won on Saturday night. Those three men, especially the ACC commissioner, said, we're not going along with this. This is wrong. Had they gone along with it, FSU would be playing Liberty well, okay. in three what, weeks. What does any of that have to do with the players going 13-0 this year? Yeah. Like, that's, not, that's the ACC commissioner. So I am fine with the Florida State not being in there. What I'm not okay with is everyone arguing that they have not done enough. No, Dom, I want to make Don't it clear. It like, that's fine. Florida State deserves to be in. They earned the right on the field. I feel awful for their players and their coaching staff and their quarterback. This isn't like, again, the, the, committee, like the committee, committee made right. like a let, bad decision. Let me ask you a question. The, the hold on, one. hold on, hold on, hold on. Heather, Heather. Where's, is Heather still there? Good. Yes, yeah. yes I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> in, the, in, in the penultimate rankings, Texas was well behind Florida State, right? Like significantly behind. Texas, I think, was seventh, and Florida State was in, in one of the four spots. Texas beat a far lesser team on Saturday than Florida <laughs> State did. How does Texas jump Florida State? Well, Texas jumped Florida State because Texas beat the SEC champs in week two. And that matters as much to the committee yesterday as it did in September. 
and, and they had a healthy quarterback. They didn't play honest, that game in September. They put the four teams in they wanted to put in. And let's, face, let's just say it. How the hell is Florida State ahead of Georgia? Someone explain to me how in the end, final now, Paul, a, if Florida State played Georgia right now, to use your logic, Georgia would be a three-touchdown favorite. Right. They are a 14-point yeah. favorite. So they leave them there in order to what? To make them feel even worse? Look, guys, we left you as close as we possibly could, but we can't let you play with the big boys. We're going to go put you in the Georgia game. Paul, how do you explain putting Alabama and Texas ahead of Florida State but not Georgia? You can't. Uh, and that's the best point I've heard all day. G Georgia's better than Florida State. Uh, and we don't know really uh, how, I don't know how Georgia went from number one to six, but what Gre Heather knows this better than I do, Greeny, but these, these people in the committee room, they have to match. And I think what they didn't want was a debate about Georgia. So they just pushed Georgia as far away from, the, from number one as they could after one loss to, by the way, the number four team in the country. And then they made it an Alabama FSU debate so they could blame it all on Jordan Travis. I'm not saying it's a great system. I don't like yeah, it. You okay. know that. Right. I've been here a million times talking right. about the travesty of the way they do it. But thank goodness we, we won't be going through this next year. So the sport is not dead. I mean, it's I quite like healthy, it. by the way. So let me yeah. just ask this. For everyone who watches games, and Paul is in there. If, if you have watched, put, put everybody back up on the screen, Cindy, because I want to see everybody. If you have watched five football games in your life, answer the following question. Is Georgia one of the four best teams in the country? Unequivocally. It's not even close, right? Not even close. Well, it's close. So, I mean, the four teams that are in are really, really good football teams, yeah. Greeny. That's why I said I mean, the only way this year was to have six. I don't want to – I can't sit here, and I don't know how Heather and Paul feel, but, like, I can't sit here and say Georgia is, Georgia is unequivocally better than Texas or unequivocally better than Bama. I don't know if we have four great teams this year. I think we have – Five. Shoot, I think Oregon's awesome. So it's not four teams this year. That's the truth. Yeah. The system broke this year. Heather, go. <laughs> yeah, listen. So the point is here, guys. This system was designed to exclude a Power Five conference and get the four best teams. Yep. Someone, this, these are the commissioners who put this system in place. Someone was always going to be left out and angry for the past decade, right? And when you look at Georgia, they were not unequivocally one of the four best teams in the country around that table. They didn't win their conference title. And we're not just talking about Florida State's quarterback injuries. We're also talking about Georgia's injuries. Brock Bowers, Lad McConkey, that was a part of the conversation late into Saturday, into Sunday. So Georgia was not truly seriously considered for a top four spot because of those conference champions ahead of them but I do agree with you and in my prediction late that night I thought that Georgia was going to be ahead of Florida State and Florida State was going to be six so I think it's a fair point all right I have to leave it there in the interest of time I promise we will come back I feel to all awful of this. for Florida State oh well thanks for mentioning that 13 minutes into the conversation <laughs> I said it all 97 right. times Give something.